This is the canvas that I start with. This is... This is my art. First step in making a good character is finding a decent facsimile of what you're going for and then removing all identifying features that you can so that you have the most base face you can get to work with. Okay, this is our blank canvas to make the descendant of Colonel Sanders that will emerge into West Virginia. <laughs> Begin a new life in a post-apocalypse. Okay, I've put up on the screen a photo of Colonel Sanders that I am referencing. See, already we're seeing that there will be some compromises to be made, because Colonel Sanders had virtually no eyebrows, which is not an option in the Fallout 76 character creator. So we have to go with something that sort of communicates the general image of Mr. Sanders, and perhaps these bushy brows, because of how thin they appear, will be an answer. Although they also look like they might just be veins rippling into his eye sockets, so I don't know about that. <laughs> now, Colonel Sanders is, is famous for his tiny eyes. He has very small, almost mole-like eyes. And they're dark, like a doll's eyes. So trying to find something that accurately conveys that same feeling that you get inside of you when the colonel stares deep into the core of you is is difficult in the Fallout 76 character creator, but not impossible. Okay? It's not impossible. Now, my gut says that looking at small is the way to go. And you can see that the 76 mirrors the Fallout 4 character creator in that the different forms of eyes almost have no bearing on anything. Well, that's the bottom of the eyelid. Yes, there we go. We want to make them smaller. And also move them closer together and out a little bit more. He has some jutting eyes. And they gotta come together just a little just a little bit more. There we go. That's looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Let's move on to the nose. The nose is key. And the colonel has sort of a puggy nose. You know. He doesn't he doesn't have wine because the tip comes down, as you'll notice, which is important. To note, nose is a central facial feature, so it, it sort of draws a lot of attention on first glance. So you want to make sure that your nose is accurate when you're recreating someone as important as the colonel. Because if not, then, you know, you're, the illusion falls apart almost instantly if you don't get the nose right. And then it's very critical to sort of, ah, I messed up there, to make this bridge thinner. We want to center nasal bridge you know the colonel has a very full face much like myself but his nose sort of is pyramid like it really does kind of it's very triangular oof i don't like that <laughs> i don't like that at all let's make that come in just a little bit yeah okay here we're starting to see some of the limitations of the fallout character creator uh, in that it's not very good um, at creating human beings. <laughs> if we were here to make some sort of hideous monster, and that was our mission, which I remind you, it is not, then we would be in a really, really good spot, you know? We'd, be, we'd have the correct tool set at our disposal. But unfortunately, you know, we kind of have to just roll with the punches as they come now the cheekbones the colonel did not have very pronounced cheekbones he had very full cheeks you know which it is what it is we want him to be 
I mean, I think wrinkled is okay. He was an older gentleman in his in his fame. So I think that that's, that's perfectly fine to try and emulate here. We're not trying to create some sort of hot young colonel, you know, just really, really just turning ladies' heads. No, we're here to create the, the chicken connoisseur himself, as the world remembers him. Now, ears, you don't get a lot of control over the ears in the Fallout character creator. But thankfully, the colonel's ears were not typically uh, prominent. They weren't really terribly noticeable. So we're, we're lucky in that we don't... We don't have to worry too much about getting this exactly right. We can, we can sort of accept a facsimile. You know, thin mouth. It was, it was a little long and very thin. Now, if I could mouth full, yeah, we want to move it down just a little bit more. I don't like what I've done with the corners already, so we're going to kind of do that. And now we're going to look at our mouth types. I don't like any of these. All right. I think firm is a little too harsh for what I imagine the colonel being like in life. I never knew the man, but God knows I respect his work. I like I like the smirk mouth. I don't I don't see why it's called that. I guess because of the slight sort of tilt here, but I think it'll work for our purposes. Now we want to make that bottom lip a little thinner. Cause, cause it is a little little too fat for our boy. Make that a little bit more prominent. There we go. I like that. I like the way that's looking. Um, I want to pull it in a little bit, though. I feel like I messed something up there. Oof. Okay. You know, this is coming together nicely. It's happening a lot faster than I thought it would. Now, now here's, here's, here's a problem for you. I don't actually know what color the colonel's eyes are. Uh, and none of the pictures that I've looked at have given me a very clear indication. So I'm actually just going to Google the phrase Colonel Sanders eye color. We'll see what we've got here. Networthpedia. That seems legitimate. According to this, eye color not available. Okay. Jesus Christ, why is this why is this forbidden knowledge? <laughs> On anything's fandom wiki. Which I don't know what that is. Uh under eye color it just says maybe. Okay. I don't know what this is. This is not this is not a real thing. This is some sort of ridiculous internet. It's not very funny. You know, it's not very funny. I think, I think the man deserves more respect than that. Okay, this is fun. I'm reading some correspondence now that I'll, I'll link to in, in the video description. This is from the Wall Street Journal. And it is uh, back and forth letters from 1973 between Mr. George Bemis, the advertising and promotional manager of, I assume, Kentucky Fried Chicken, or perhaps just Commercial Appliances Incorporated, from Jeffersontown, Kentucky, and one Mr. Norman Rockwell of Stockbridge, Massachusetts, in which uh, Mr. Bemis responds to an inquiry from Mr. Rockwell saying the color of his eyes are a deep blue. So, that was a lot of back and forth to get a pretty, pretty straightforward piece of information. But, uh, you know, we're, we're here to make art. We're here to make art. So it's a uh, slow process. Things are kind of coming together, but now, now we're going to hit a significant problem because I am positive that the accurate hairstyle to which the colonel is known is not going to be present. We might be able to come close, but we also may have to accept another facsimile, which is not ideal. I know. Uh, that's definitely not it. But once we get this, we'll have a better frame of what we're working with. and We can sort of Fix the forehead, which I think is a, is a point of contention for me right now. 
I almost think that Rebel is a better option than 9 to 5 since they're virtually the same hairstyle except one is slightly more unkempt. But I think that that bounce, that volume, that volume is very critical for the colonel. White isn't even white. It's just a very light. It's almost silver. It's more silver than silver is. That's interesting. Okay, there are dye colors there. We don't want that. Perhaps bleached is the way to go. I mean, that's the that's the whitest hair color on offer here. So I, I guess that's what we'll go for. But now, uh, thankfully, you know, we can uh, we can make the colonel uh, a little paler. A little paler. Um, I, you know, actually, maybe we'll stick with rosy for skin color. That wasn't what I was attempting to hit, but uh, looking at the picture now, and back and forth between the two, I think that that's more accurate than pale. So let's look at his forehead. We can do wrinkled, lined, serious, textured, or smooth. Actually, I feel like textured is pretty close. Like, it's a, it's a young man's forehead that the colonel is sporting. It's a young man's forehead. And this, this is critical. This is where we really have to be paying attention. We want to make sure that we get the Colonel's tried and true hairstyle here. Now, Swashbuckler seems pretty accurate. I wish that there was some more bush to the, to the moustache. But uh, we may not have that option, you know. That's definitely not it. That just looks terrible, and whoever kind of put that in the game should be ashamed of themselves, because that is not professional quality work. That is it. That's a bad Nexus mod, is what that is. That's a bad Nexus mod. I'm sorry to, to hit you with that. Man, if we could get Hollywood Classic with a little soul patch, if we could install the More Hairstyles Men mod from Fallout 4, then we would we would have it. We would we would have it. We'd be able to combine. So I'm thinking, okay, we have two options. We can go with ombre, which I think is too bushy. Or Okay. Guitars just started playing behind me. I, I think maybe the game's getting impatient. But uh, it's gonna have to learn to calm down. I'm doing important work right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. He's going to keep going, but that's fine. So I think we can, uh, we can do ombre or swatch buckler. I'm thinking ombre just because it offers more character to the face. You know, neither one is perfect, but uh, if we're considering our options here, then I think that I think that might be our best. Now, I want to sort of decrease the size of the forehead. And I'm going to do that by slowly moving pieces up. Sort of elongate the face. I'm going to shorten it, actually. <laughs> that, that works much better. Uh, we're going to pull those cheekbones up some more. Again, not prominent, not super prominent. We're going to pull those cheeks out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to, we're going to pull out that jawline. Really expand it really show the world what chicken kicking is all about you know i'm i'm pretty happy with this it's not my best work it's not my best work actually you know one last thing one last thing here yeah we're gonna smooth out that neck we're gonna make it just a wrinkled looks like he's been choked to death i don't know what that's about Bethesda. that's not what a person's we'll go with rashed that looks like an actual normal person's neck <laughs> all right Okay, Bethesda, um, I hope that, you know, future, future products from your studio in the, in the role-playing genre will have better character customization options, but, uh, with the tool set we've been given, I think that, uh, I think that we have a pretty decent Colonel Sanders here, you know, I think it's, I think it's acceptable. We'll just real quick look around the sort of extras menu that I almost completely forgot about. And we'll see if there's anything that we feel. I don't, I don't think that freckles are appropriate, but blemishes, perhaps. Um, Jesus Christ, that's not correct. Forehead abrasions. 
Oh my god. These are horrific. This is not what the kernel looked like. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good, actually. Those kind of those cheek creases. He had some. He had some puffy boy cheeks. He had some puffy boy cheeks. Yeah. You know? What does this look like? Faded. You know, I think that adds a little bit of character. Makes the face look a little bit more full. You know what? We're gonna. It's, it's barely there, but we're gonna keep that. I like that. Okay, folks. I think that's. That's Colonel Harlan Sanders. Now, of course, we have to find some glasses and maybe someday a white suit. But if uh, Bethesda expects me to pay them extra money for a white suit, then they ain't getting it. They ain't getting it. But there were glasses on the table when the cutscene began, so I think we'll be good there. Enter and Colonel Sanders. Yep. Take a photo. God, these are... Let's go with amused. I like that. I think that that fits the sort of portrait we've been working with. And we're good. Tab to exit. Aha! Now we're in the world of Fallout 76. And already I can tell that the frame rate is uncomfortable. But I don't know how to access settings, so for now I guess I'll just have to live with it. Oh, regale us with a tune, Colonel. I'm playing the same song that other guy did. Alright, okay, enough of that. And that is how you make Colonel Harlan Sanders in uh, Fallout 76. I don't recommend doing it. I've already done it. And, uh, you know what, there's, there's not even a point to really playing the game. Alright. Until next time.